What's up YouTube? Back here with another vlog style video and I wanted to do this because a new book just came in that I wanted to share with you guys that I'll be reading and I'll be kind of discussing as I kind of go through it and share my thoughts with regards to some of the information that I may have came across with regards to it. And so firstly that book is Iced uh, by Gary Reinel, uh, forwarded by Dr. Kelly Starrett and Dr. or Gabe Merkin who's an MD. So this book, guys, um, it puts into question the usage of ice when it comes to treating injuries and are we actually doing more harm than good in some cases just by applying ice. And the reason why I got a hold of this book is because going back to my story, a chiropractor and a couple doctors told me to use ice for my lower back. And upon using ice, it only made things worse. And to that day, I have ever since come to question the usage of ice in the treatment of injuries. Now, I'm just talking about my case where I had a disc injury, arthritis at all my lumbar facets. Now, every injury is different. Every scenario is going to respond differently to ice. So, some cases may respond good. Some cases may respond bad. Who knows? I don't know. I'm just trying to find this out with regards to this book. It's my own personal interest. But if you would ever hear me maybe talk about my thoughts regarding ice, I'm personally not the biggest fan, in my opinion. I feel like it does more harm than good, and there's actually just a recent research article that was published in the Journal of Physiology. Can't remember the title of it, but it actually found that ice delayed recovery, and I believe it was in muscle-related injuries, or muscle-related damage. Now, with regards to that, though, this book kind of puts all the questions, so I'm going to be checking it out and reading up on it. And upon finishing it up, I'll kind of give a review to you guys and what I find or there's anything interesting uh, or some things that may I've just never learned about. Secondly, guys, I just want to talk about anyone that who may be dealing with a herniated disc or any kind of disc related injury. Maybe it's a degenerative disc. Maybe you have a disc protrusion, loss of disc, whatever the case may be. And maybe if you're someone that's looking to return back to competitive athletics, maybe you're getting back to powerlifting, bodybuilding. There's something that you do need to consider. Uh, for anyone that may be returning to the sport. So, unfortunately, my disc actually popped here, so I can't really get that bulge or protruding mechanism. But, nevertheless, let's just say this is a loss of disc, and we have a degenerative disc here. So, what ends up happening is, as you can see, we have a, a loss of disc height. And if we were to apply load to this, let's say we put a barbell on there, maybe we put 200 pounds onto our back through a squat, you can see that that disc is not going to be able to withstand that load as efficiently as it once may have if it were more expanded because now it's very compressed. It's lost a lot of its properties just because of all the degeneration that's occurred. So what ends up happening now is that different structures will now have to start bearing that load to compensate. So maybe the facet joints on the back here, maybe the above and below segments, specifically the discs, may have to compensate to bear some of that load. Why that's problematic is... The reason being is because now one may be more susceptible to other degenerative changes because of that compensation that's occurring. That's something a lot of power lifters, maybe weight lifters, recreational lifters need to be aware of if they have a disc related injury. Just be aware of the compensation that will occur in, and the potential for the other degenerative changes to occur now because of the disc damage or degenerative, degenerative changes that have occurred at the disc. So something a lot of people need to be aware of and just be careful. I'm not saying stop lifting, just something to be careful with, be aware of. The better you can practice spine hygiene and good spine hygiene, the more likely you'll be able to prevent these issues from developing and still be able to work out. So something to consider, something I just wanted to share with you guys in this kind of more vlog style video. Got the new book, the disc broke, and uh, just wanted to share that kind of concept for anyone that's looking to get back to recreationally weightlift or get involved into competitive athletics, powerlifting specifically, or bodybuilding, is to just be aware of that and cautious of that. So that's it for this vlog style video, guys. Hope you enjoyed this and were able to learn something. And if there's anything you want me to cover or address, please leave a comment below. Until next time, all the best, guys. Take care.